There are three places to consider on the engine failure in a multi-engine airplane on takeoff. First one is on the runway. If it happens on the runway, well, in essence, your trip is canceled, so you just close both throttles, stay straight, brake only if you have to. After that, uh, we will do an engine failure in the air, and I'll cover that uh, shortly before we fail the engine. We'll go over a quick synopsis of that. Is everybody ready? We can see belts on? Ready. Okay, lined up on the correct runway, one, two, right, verified with the DG compass, and we're ready to go. All right, we're gonna rotate at about 85, climb out at about 100. A lot of power, so if you put the throttle on 310, there's torque. After you, uh, after you rotate, you're gonna introduce P-factor into the equation. Okay. Rotate, a little bit of right rudder, a little wind, sideways. Do I have runway? Do I have runway? No usual runway at this point, gear up. Bring the propellers, we go to 25 squared at this point. Bring the propellers to 25, 100 RPMs. And we get the propellers are already there. All right, square the turn, I always look around, left for traffic. All right. All right, on the downwind here, we'll demonstrate an engine ferry coming up to the pattern altitude, 3,000 feet. Turn it downwind. And, uh, Mark, I'll give you the pleasure, below 3,000 feet, there's a rule. You can only fail the throttle below 3,000 AGL with the throttle only. So, sir, you can fail any one of the throttles on you now, and I'll show you how to do the procedure. Right. Oh, engine ferry, the first thing you do is level the wings, and you look at the turn corner, and you step on the ball. I put one forward on the rudder, pull one foot back so I know which you're. Then I check my heading and my altitude. Those are okay, and I'll go mixtures, props, throttle. Check my heading and my altitude. At that point, I'm gonna check the boost pumps. The gears are up, the flaps are up. Once again, heading and altitude. Now, my right foot is dead. I go right foot dead. Right there, I'll verify with the throttle, feather the right engine. A beam the numbers and went just a little bit past them. It's a power reduction. The gear goes down because I have the runway made at this point. So you re get the gear down. All I have to do is turn. I have a green light. I have a gear in the mirror, a turn base. There is nothing special about this turn just because I have an engine out. Although I'm turning into a dead engine, I will still square and look for traffic. You just have to be careful on the turn that you don't get too steep as this outside engine wants to flip you. Turn 20 degrees, you will probably VMC. And you're not walking away from VMC this low. Okay, the gear's down, panic check. I'm not below the blue line. Lining up on final. For practice purposes, we do not land with differential power on this. I don't come in high, I don't come in fast. It's a regular landing. You just have an engine out. Everything's fine. Normal normal speeds, normal altitudes, a little low, add power. Gears down, panic check. Just check it one more time. And over the numbers, gears down, start so closing the throttle, staying straight. And there we go. All right. Now, we'll go back. Tower zero, bro, like a full stop, thanks, back.